Hi there again. So welcome back to this another module. And in this module on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI, we are looking at compute. Now compute is also interchangeably used with the word instance. So instance or compute. Now instance or compute which mainly consists of CPU, memory and some part in storage and networking. So we are going to look at overview around all this in this module. But before proceeding further, let's see what are topics we are going to cover in this module. So we are going to begin with compute service overview or instance overview. Then we'll look at two different type of compute. One is a bare metal or without virtualization and second is virtual machine. Then we are going to look at compute shape and there are different shapes depending on whether you are going for a bare metal or virtual machine. So we'll look at things like standard shape, high IO or dense IO, GPU and other different type of shapes. Once we know the shape, then we'll also look at which one to use in what scenario. Then we are going to look at life cycle of a compute instance or what happens, what all operations are possible on this compute. Then how does a billing work and in what scenario you are being charged in for the compute or instance. Then we'll look at images or the compute instance or these uh, machines can be created through something called as images. So we'll look at what those images means. Then we are going to look at volumes and or storage, you consider that as a storage or volume, that's boot and block volume. And in this module, we're going to keep it very high level about volume, but we have a dedicated module coming in subsequent modules where we're going to look at the storage in detail. And then we're, that's where we're going to go on detail about these uh, volumes as well. But I'm going to cover here in this module enough so that you understand what these volumes are or in the context of this compute. Then we are going to look at scope of the compute and scope means like whether you have an image instance or your volume backups are these specific to availability domain, a region or a cross region. And these availability domain in or a region we looked at when we were looking at in module two, when we were looking at identity and access management. So we'll see which one is scope to what and then how do you launch a compute instance once we understand the comp uh, theory part then we we'll look at the practical which means what are the high level steps in which if you when you want to come create a compute instance then uh, finally we'll wrap this module with the activity guide where we'll say i'll point you to the activity guide as we covered in the previous module as well and see what all topics or things that you're going to do as a part of hands-on so let's begin with first topic, which is compute service overview or what does an instance overview means or what does instance mean with respect to Oracle cloud infrastructure. So uh, let's look, begin with overview of compute service. So this is the diagram. I always come back again and again. So in the module one, we looked at a very high level. I mentioned that you have a hardware on top of that, you have compute, storage and network and identity and access management come across almost all of these, our entire Oracle cloud infrastructure. So the one of the most important thing is about compute and you have as shown in diagram here, bare metal or virtual machine. And on top of that, you can also run container and I'm going to keep this container outside or scope of uh, this of course, uh, but container on a high level is another technology or maybe worth Googling on Docker or Kubernetes, which is a managed doc Docker solution. So you can deploy containers, but we are going to keep it in the context of OCI where we look at virtual machine or bare metal. So let's look at what does compute, what does compute mean? So as I said, compute host or Compute is nothing but assume that as a machine which has a CPU, memory, storage, networking. 
So this together will make it as a compute. Now you these as I said at the start is also or this computer also called interchangeably instance. So when I'm talking about instance, what I mean by is a machine uh, with the operating system. And in that you can have a different type of operating system, but mainly around which will have a CPU or central processing unit plus memory plus little bit storage from a boot point of view. And you can attach other external storage as well to that. So as I said, you have a CPU, memory, disk, operating system, network, and so on. Now, if you look from the operations point of view, what all things you can do on a compute instance, once you've created, so first and uh, first and the most important thing is you can provision an instance or you can provision a compute and in towards end, we are going to op or tell you about an activity guide in which we are going to look at this creating or will create or provision a compute instance or compute. Then once it's created and you have appropriate security list, which allows you to connect from your on-premise onto the cloud instance, you can access it remotely. And now access remotely depending on, a, you can connect through SSH if it's a Unix Linux based off machine, or you can connect through VNC or if you created a Windows kind of a machine or Windows operating system on top of that, you can also configure to connect or create RDP or remote connection through the Windows remote client. Also, you can restart this compute or you can restart this service or you can attach and detach volume and volume is nothing for, or for now assume that as a storage or it's actually in a storage. So how do you you can attach or detach the storage and we are going to go deep and cover this storage a little bit later in the next module. But you can do this operation. Also, you can terminate. So the difference between stop and terminate is stop will just shut down services. It will not return these resources back to Oracle public cloud. Whereas terminate will return the compute, memory or other things back to the Oracle public cloud. So termination is basically removing all those things. Stopping is, it says just being stopping for that moment till you restart it so that you don't get charged for this compute. Now you can install multiple operating system. You can create using ISO file or the bootable files, or there are predefined images which comes. So, and we'll see that, um, and we are going to use one of the pre existing in the hands-on. We are going to use one of the pre configured image or an operating system image through which you can create a compute. So now there are two main different type of compute you get in all OCI Oracle cloud infrastructure. What you see on the left hand side is bare metal or uh, without any virtualization layer on top of that, which means you have direct access to the metal you can bring or you can configure without any virtualization or you can bring your own hypervisor. I'll tell you in a minute about bare metal. Then on right hand side, other option is you have virtual machine. So this is a virtualized environment. So going back to the bare metal, there is no hypervisor involved. So that means you get a full bare metal server with 36, 52 or different type of cores, which means it's a single tenant, which means on that box, only one customer will be there. Whereas in virtual machine, it's a virtualized environment. So a big machine is further, you have a virtualization layer sitting on top of that and you get one virtual machine out of that. So that's virtual machine. So these are the two options, which means there's a hypervisor involved in this, which means there it's the infrastructure underlying host is shared by multiple customers. They can't see each other's data, but they are underlying operating underlying virtualization layer is same for both. So this is called as virtual machine. Now let's look, go a little bit deep into bare metal versus virtual, virtual machine compute service. So as I said, bare metal, there's no hypervisor or there's no virtualization layer, which means you, if you have a heavy workload, you can work this 
hypervisor or this virtualization layer some sometime will or will definitely have some performance impact so to overcome you or you have a requirement where you need a heavy processing or heavy ios then and you want to skip that virtualization layer then this is a ideal solution or you want to install your own hypervisor or your own virtualization layer then bare metal is a good option there's no sharing of hardware which means that particular hardware is or that particular compute and memory is dedicated to that specific customer it's a single tenant which means the access to the hardware or the compute or the memory is dedicated to just one customer as i said earlier you can bring your own hypervisor if you want then you can install a hypervisor on top of that and then you can slice or create multiple virtual machines on top of that so ideal for customers where you have a strong regulatory requirement that prohibits or that doesn't let your servers to be shared by other customers not in terms of data but they are running on same hardware if there is a strict regulatory compliance that you can't do that then bare metal is another good option for that you so this is about bare metal then if you look at a virtual machine it's a server it's a bigger server on which oracle has configured a hypervisor and kvm based hypervisor which is latest kvm based so in this model you have a multiple tenant so there's a they are sharing a big hardware and then oracle has created a virtual machine so they are using that virtual machine or they are running a virtual machine on top of that so which means the hardware is so it runs on the same it runs same hardware as a bare metal instance however that virtual machines or the, there will be multiple virtual machines on that though hardware is going to be the same and it's also going to use the same cloud uh, firmware optimized hardware software stack and networking infrastructure it just that there will be multiple customers or multiple instances there will be noisy neighbors so this is a virtual machine so in the next lesson we are going to look at shapes which we, which is basically cpu memory and storage what does different type of shapes you get and what are available uh, with respect to virtual machine as well as bare metal we are going to look at in the next lesson but before that let's quickly wrap it up or do a recap on what we covered in this first lesson so we started the lesson with agenda where we look at what all topics we are going to cover then we looked at a high level overview about compute and what all operations you can do on those compute then bare metal and virtual machine so head on to the next lesson where we look at the compute shape or the cpu memory and storage or combination of these two mainly cpu and memory shape so i'll see you in the next lesson where we look at shapes in oci